Okay, the construction of the flying machine is going along really good. Now it's time to attach the canopy and the portholes and the launch lug. So that's what we're going to do in this step. Um, so I, I put the rocket back together. Uh, the important thing here is to make sure that you have the canopy in line with the fin. So here I have the tail line, so I want to make sure that those lines line up. And the, I need a ruler, the back edge of the canopy is four inches from the joint line here. So I'll just mark it four inches right there. And you have your choice of glue here, what you want to do, you can either use uh, thin super glue or thick super glue. Um, I'm going to go with thick super glue and then I'll show you on the other ones how to use the thin. So this is pretty easy, just take the glue and go along the perimeter. careful not to touch it and just press it down against the tube. Pretty easy. Okay. Now the portholes get glued along the side and um, I'm going to put one there. I don't think I got a dimension on that. Let me just double check. Nope, it doesn't matter too much. Um, I'm going to put one there and one there on the rocket. And say, so, now this is the fin line. So they go on the fin line, I think. Nope, I'm going to put them on the strap on booster line. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to use thin here. So I'm going to use my goggles. And it's clogged. tip off, unclog it, okay. So, I'm going to separate these so it's a little less unwieldy. Let me get that rid of that. Okay, so this is going to go right here. So press it down with your thumb. Ooh, wow, that came out really good. I got a little bit, just go around the perimeter, and capillary action will take it all the way around, so you're just wiping it off, and then the next one I'll put here, and where it goes is up to you, this is aesthetic choice of yours, so it doesn't necessarily have to go where mine is. Now this is the part where I do want to kind of line them up so that they're even on both sides. So I'm going to just eyeball it, like right there. on the other side. A bit too much glue. So I glued a little bit of paper on my finger. <laughs> uh, are we rocket geeks or what? <laughs> so that was going to go there. Again, I'm going to line it up so that the back edge here is equal to the back edge there. Okay. Portholes on, and I got the canopy on. 
That part looks good. Uh, now, the launch lugs are going to go on the bottom of the rocket on the opposite side of the vertical tail. I'm going to remove the strap out of booster pods. Again, to make it a little easier. Now, one of them is going to be glued near the bottom, and I'm going to slide it up about three eighths of an inch from the bottom. The reason is there's another rivet band just like this that goes along the bottom and so I don't want to put it right in the middle of that. So that's where it gets to get glued. And I'm going to use thick glue for this. Just a thin line of glue. Sure that I got it centered on the line. Here, and it came out the bottom there. Just holding it in place while it catches. I got my accelerator. Just hit it lightly. That will lock it down permanently. Now the forward one goes along the same line and it's 10, I think the dimension is 10 and a half. Just double check that. Nope, 10 inches. 10 inches from the base of the rocket. So here's my base. Here's 10 inches, which is pretty close to the back edge of the strap-on booster pod hook. So it's going to go right there. So I'm gluing this on and I'm going to finish this up. So you're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. This is the flying machine model rocket. As you can get at Apogee Components. It's a steampunk looking rocket. Which makes it kind of have that Victorian era type feel to it. Um, over here off to the side we have other videos I think you'll enjoy watching. Down there are the comments which we love reading. Um, go ahead and add one to this video. Tell us how much you like this rocket. <laughs> yeah, our ego can always use a boost. Um, and then uh, thumbs up on this, rock, on this video too. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Components at www.apogeerockets.com.